people probably don't know that celery, unless if they've grown it themselves, has all this foliage on top, uh, but uh, you never see that in the store because in the field they take and, and uh, trim all that off. So that's uh, all you normally see. You might have a little bit of foliage left on the top, but in general, all you get is stalks. And all this time, I thought this was a bunch of celery. Hi everyone, I'm Jan Diatri, and if you've ever spent time with an Arizona farmer like John Boltz of Desert Premium Farms in Yuma, you'll learn so much about the food that's growing right here in Arizona. Yes, you heard me right, Arizona. Our Grand Canyon state now grows so much wonderful produce that it ranks number two in the United States in production of romaine, head lettuce, leaf lettuce, cauliflower, and broccoli. In fact, with more than 15,000 farms and ranches across the state, Arizona and California produce more than half of all the fresh fruits, vegetables, and tree nuts that are eaten nationwide. And Yuma, Arizona is so bountiful, it's now called the winter lettuce capital of the world. Can you believe it? Arizona can now boast a $10.3 billion booming industry of agriculture and growing every day. Well, what that means to you and me is this gorgeous fresh produce from farm to table, often in less than 24 hours from the time it was picked. Well, with all this great Arizona produce right in front of me, I wanted to share an amazing farmer salad recipe with you. It's a favorite here at fillyourplate.org. It starts with your favorite salad combination. I've got some leafy greens and a little iceberg lettuce right from the ground in Yuma, Arizona. I've got some chopped celery, also from Yuma, Arizona, a crisp, cold, crunchy, and sweet apple from Wilcox, Arizona. I've got some dried cranberries here and some Arizona pecans that I caramelized earlier. I'm gonna show you how to do it, it's so simple. And then a little bit of crumpled blue cheese or feta if you like. And we're gonna make a fabulous poppy seed dressing to go with the salad. It's not too sweet, just a little tangy. So I'm gonna get the salad washed up. In the meantime, I followed this lettuce back to Yuma, Arizona, where it was plucked from the soil. Amazing. Take a look. It's the dawn of a new day, and already semis have been on the road for hours, delivering produce that's harvested out of more than 200,000 acres of farmland here in Yuma, Arizona. Large-scale agriculture is becoming more and more of Arizona's lifeblood, economically and efficiently feeding the U.S. Spinach, broccoli, leafy lettuce, celery, carrots, cabbage, all mainstay crops from land owned by farmers like John Boltz of Premier Desert Farms. Third generation farmer, John knows this land is golden. Our weather and water allow farmers to harvest virtually year round. And with new cutting edge methods of farming up here, production is increasing. We have good climate and, uh, and with water availability here in Yuma makes it an ideal place to produce fresh vegetables during this time of year and it's an exciting business uh, we, we enjoy providing food that goes across to North America to feed people and uh, and we're very uh, privileged to have the opportunity to do so. so this is another off type that you can see the head is not very large at all and uh, and it produced an odd shaped head but it's just an off type compared to all the others that produced a regular normal ice, uh, head of iceberg. One nice thing about having everything hand harvested, a machine is not selective. Folks hand harvesting, you still have the benefit of the human eye and the human brain uh, making selections. And so oftentimes that's a real benefit in making sure that below marketable quality product doesn't end up in the bin and then later have to be sorted out before, uh, before sale. Conservation is a big deal for us in agriculture. We use irrigation practices that that are, are cutting edge. If we didn't utilize the siphon tubes and we didn't utilize the border, we'd use a lot more water and we would not be able to control the water as well. Uh, you only want to put the right amount of water in the furrows to irrigate the lettuce. It may not look like it, but these plants that are growing on top of this bed are picking up their moisture from all the way down in here. And if you, and if you dig down into the soil, you'll find their roots extended all the way down in here. And when the plants are young, we try not to give them any more water than they absolutely need so that we can get uh, root development deep down in the ground. The root structure is, uh, is rather extensive and uh, there's uh, 
there's an example of it, how the, the fibrous roots spread out and go throughout the soil. And uh, that's the root ball basically there. The lettuce is, uh, is tight, beginning to get tight on the inside and heavy. And, uh, and, we're, and that's the type of product that we'd like to see. We're conserving our water. Uh, that's good for the environment. It's good for people that need the water to drink and in their households for wildlife, everything. It's also good for the crop. Uh, using more water than a crop needs is oftentimes more detrimental than using less water. So now you know a little bit more about where your greens came from and the great Arizona farmers who hand harvest this goodness for you and your family. Makes the recipe even more special, right? So now I've washed this great Yuma lettuce. Let's add the goodies. Now I'm gonna add that crunchy Wilcox apple. I've slivered it so all the flavors go throughout the salad. Caramelized pecans go so well with this salad and I caramelized them earlier. It was so simple. I just took about a tablespoon of butter and a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. And as it was melting, I added in about a half a cup of pecans that are grown here in Arizona. Just cook them on low for a few minutes until they start to caramelize. And then let them cool down before you add them to your salad. And here they are. Looks good, doesn't it? Okay. Now let's put some dried cranberries in. Gotta add some Yuma celery. Now I'm gonna add just a little bit of blue cheese. You can use feta if you like, it's just as good. So those are the fixins. Now let's make the salad dressing. You can whisk or blend or use the mini prep, which I love. Now I'm gonna add some vinegar. and a little specialty mustard. I've got some great Arizona honey here. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil. And in goes a tablespoon of sweet yellow onion. And now I've got some poppy seeds in there. And I'm gonna add a little splash of lemon juice just to brighten it up a little bit. Another one of Arizona's favorite crops, right? and a little salt and pepper to taste. And we're just gonna blend that up. And you've got a salad dressing to die for. I always have this in my fridge at all times. So now let's mix this beautiful salad together. That's as simple and healthful and delicious as it gets, a farmer's favorite salad. The recipe is right here at the Arizona Farm Bureau's FillYourPlate.org. Enjoy it knowing the greens were hand harvested right here in Arizona. To meet a rancher or a farmer like John Boltz, or to pick up more great recipes, spend some time right here at the Arizona Farm Bureau's FillYourPlate.org.